Now let us discuss about what is the problem with a stop and wait protocol. What is the problem with a stop and wait protocol? See, we know what is a stop and wait protocol. This is the sender. This is the receiver. In case of stop and wait protocol, first of all, sender will transmit the data packet. Then it will propagate the data packet and then it will wait for acknowledgement from the receiver. Right. So this is this is waiting for acknowledgement. Right, so that is propagation time, and this is propagation time of data, and the transmission time of data. The same way we can have transmission time of acknowledgement. This is the simple stop and wait protocol. It is the simple stop and wait protocol which we were discussing till now. Simple stop and wait protocol. The simple stop and wait protocol. Now, what is the problem with the simple stop and wait protocol? That assume assume this is the sender this is the receiver this is the sender and this is the receiver now sender is first of all transmitting some data packet and then sender is this data packet is propagating this data packet is propagating now assume assume that if the receiver is sending some acknowledgement the receiver is sending some acknowledgement but due to some network error this acknowledgement is lost due to some network error this acknowledgement is lost maybe the network is broken maybe for a, a simple uh, given a millisecond of time the network is broken this data packet is lost now for how long should the sender have to wait to send the next data packet because sender was only supposed to send the data packet after receiving the acknowledgement for the f acknowledgement for the first data packet but if the sender is not even receiving the acknowledgement for the first data packet then how long should the sender has to wait to get the next data packet right for the, here in this case you can clearly see that sender will be waiting for in waiting infinitely because sender will always assume that it should get the acknowledgement but it will never get the acknowledgement right for that purpose is we have to include something called as a stopwatch something called as a stopwatch and till some point of time for example till some point of time if sender is not receiving the acknowledgement then the sender should assume that either the data packet is not received by the receiver or the acknowledgement is lost so sender should send the acknowledgement and the data packet again so this stop watch will be called as timeout timeout timer this stop watch will be called as timeout timer timeout timer so this will remove this problem now what can be the next problem which the sender can face what can be the next other type of problem the sender can face assume this is the sender and this is the receiver the sender and the receiver now assume the sender is sending some data packet to the receiver this is the data packet okay now the receiver received the data packet receiver is sending the acknowledgement but the acknowledgement is lost now because the acknowledgement is lost sender will not get the acknowledgement sender will wait for some particular time and as soon as the timeout timer expires as soon as the timeout timer expire sender will assume that sender will assume that either the data, data packet is lost or maybe the acknowledgement is lost therefore sender will send again data packet again sender will send the data packet again if this is a data packet even the sender will send the data packet again and then again this time it should get the acknowledgement now this time the sender is getting the acknowledgement therefore sender will assume sender will assume sender will assume that data is now delivered the data is now delivered data is now delivered but what is the problem problem is that receiver received the same copies of two copies of the same data packet again receiver received two copies of the same data packet again the same data packet for example what i mean to say is for example let us suppose you have a contact number 9996999 something something some contact number now in a contact number you can clearly see there may be some digits which is repeating right so if the sender is sending some this kind of contact number obviously receiver can assume that these two data packets are not the same data packets they may be repeat itself in the same way right so 
receiver will accept this data packet it accept this data packet and it should it will assume then these two data packets are two separate data packets so obviously uh, your data is corrupted at the receiver ends right so to remove this problem the sender have to use something called as sequence numbers something called as sequence number so whenever the sender will be sending a data packet it will be using some kind of sequence number to say that they, i am sending the data packet for example one this is the data packet one then the receiver will send an acknowledgement and as soon as this time or time expires again the sender will send the data packet with the sequence number sequence number one and the receiver will assume receiver will assume that this time also i'm getting the same data packet now because this time also i'm getting the same data packet therefore maybe the sender is sending the data packet again because the same sender may not have received the acknowledgement so receiver will send the acknowledgement right and it should it should either accept this one or this one any one of them not two copies okay now the third problem which the sender can face is this one assume assume that uh, that this is the sender side and this is the receiver size sender and the receiver now sender is sending a data packet with the sequence number 1 and a receiver is now sending the acknowledgement receiver is now sending the acknowledgement now, due to some reason maybe due to network congestion or maybe the path chosen by the packet is so long that this packet the acknowledgement is delayed so this acknowledgement is delayed it can be delayed due to various reason what can be the reason maybe a network congestion can be a reason maybe the path cho chosen by this acknowledgement is so long that it will take lot of time for the acknowledgement to receive to the sender now because the timeout timer at the sender side expires expired and the sender is not receiving any acknowledgement so sender will send the same data packet with sequence number 1 again the sequence number 1 again and again the receiver is sending some acknowledgement receiver is sending some acknowledgement okay receiver is sending some acknowledgement and sender received the acknowledgement again so sender is sending the data packet with the sequence number 2 sender is sending the data packet with the sequence number 2 but when the sender is sending the data packet with sequence number 2 maybe the sequence number 2 data packet is lost and at that time sender received the acknowledgement from the first data packet sender received the acknowledgement from the first data packet therefore sender will assume that the sequence number 2 is delivered that the packet with the sequence number 2 is delivered so for this purposes it is mandatory or it is important that we should have sequence numbers for acknowledgement also we should have sequence numbers for acknowledgements also so that means we have to add some more functionality some more features to the stop and wait protocol we have to add a timeout timer we have to add a timeout timer plus we have to use sequence numbers we have to use sequence numbers for data packets we have to use sequence numbers for data packets plus we have to use sequence numbers sequence numbers for acknowledgements we have to use sequence numbers for acknowledgement and if we do all these three things if we add these three things in a stop and wait protocol that means initially we were having a simple a simple stop and wait protocol we, we were having a simple stop and wait protocol stop and wait protocol plus to that stop and wait protocol we are adding a timeout timer plus we are adding sequence number for the data packet plus we are adding sequence number for the acknowledgement then this come this new protocol becomes the stop and wait arq this new protocol will be called as stop and wait arq arq means automatic repeat request arq means automatic repeat request automatic repeat repeat request automatic repeat request means that when a data packet is lost then automatically the timeout timer will expire and automatically a repeat request will be sent to the sender that please send the data packet again so this is stop and wait arq now let us discuss about 
the new protocol which we introduced that is stop and wait ARQ and remember one thing why we introduced the new protocol we introduced this protocol because uh, there were some problems with the simple stop and wait protocol and we want to remove those problems right we want to take uh, remove those problems right and we remove those pro problems and we pro proposed one more protocol that is stop and wait ARQ.